Hello Leo, welcome to your three day reading. Um, you guys, please remember to give this video a like, comment down below, subscribe to the channel. You guys, also, please remember that these readings, they're magically infused, so they're different from the weekly readings. So you can check out the extended version to this reading, which has the full dose of it. So the, um, the, the YouTube version, it does have some, but the uh, the extended version is the full on um, it has the full intention and so you guys feel free to visit the Vimeo the link is down below to purchase the extended it's linked at the top of the description bar if you want to get a private reading from me you can order your private reading the link is at the top of the description bar I mean at the bottom of the description bar you guys can also get your free energy healing classes and also um, visit the Eden method um, website. She has amazing classes and seminars that are amazing for healing your body and returning you to wellness. They are life changing. You guys need to check it out. I've linked her website down below. I've linked the web, the link to the free classes. But journey through her website. The free classes are nothing. They feel amazing, but they it's nothing compared to the um, extended course and the course that she has that I just I, I ended up getting after the free courses I mean you just have to get it you guys check it out especially if you struggle with depression you were narcissistically abused oh my goodness that is amazing for your body narcissistic abuse impacts your physical wellness and your physical well-being so that's why sometimes you will have other impacts done to your body or you'll have like other chronic illnesses or chronic pain that her wellness, her um, method is amazing for that. You have to check her out. It's linked down below, you guys. I'm not talking about her enough because I just don't know what to say about her, except for that she's amazing. I could talk all episode about her. But you guys, you know we have to move on, so remember to check that out. And also, you guys, remember to visit the Patreon. The Patreon is linked down below in the description bar. It is for the spiritual champions, those who are really into their witchcraft, their craft, their spiritual path, and you want to connect with a community of like-minded folks. It is really deep and in-depth, and it's growing, and it's it's very it's not just going to stay the way you see it when you come on. So I rec I welcome you guys to join on to the journey. You can join whenever you want, and it's perfect for you right now. There's 14 slots, so only technically three available. So you guys feel free to order those. Um, and I know that the, it looks funny, but I'll change it when it's all closed up. All right, you guys. So um, now that we've gotten that all out of the way, I know that was a lot, a lot more than normal. I'm going to have a look now into your connection over the next three days. What is this reading giving to you in your connection, in your love life? Don't matter. Oh my god. You guys, you've never connected before with others like this, especially your person. This part, you are really opening up a side of yourself that is so attractive. Oh my god, this person is. I don't care what you think, Leo. I don't care. Y'all be like, nah, nah, nah. Y'all always, y'all so quick to do that. No, but you don't, you are so fucking hot. You are so hot. Oh my god, but you're not even trying to be like sexual. You're just being who you are and open and like chill. And it's so attractive. Oh my god. Oh. Oh my god. If you're connecting with somebody, especially if they're a water sign, they cannot get enough of you. They have water in their chart, they cannot get enough of you. Oh my god. You guys are on fire. Oh. Okay. Wow. Wow. There's so much movement here. Passion is moving. The sexual energy in this connection is revving up. Oh my God, Leo. What is going on? These naughty kittens. <laughs> naughty. That girl. <laughs> oh my God, you guys. Oh my goodness. 
it's definitely heating up in the bedroom. It's that's where it's heating up, you guys. That's the that's it's not the only place, but that's the only place. <laughs> Whoa, it is getting really hot. It really is. There, the passion, the desire, the sexual chemistry, the sexual innuendo and rush and pull you feel and that they feel towards you, Leo is insane it's enough to get something moving it's enough to drive a car to push a car it's enough you know what i mean oh my god jesus what else you guys are your connection is getting independent so what does that mean you guys are like being like okay you know what i'm fine regardless i feel like you guys might worry about missing out or losing out on certain things because you show up in a certain way, or you might have been that way in the past, or you might have been worried about just your connections outside of this relationship, outside of your romantic relationship, how it would be affected by your decision to move forward with this person, but you're just beginning to not give a fuck, okay? And in that, you're experiencing more abundance and an increase in abundance, and if it's not here now, it's coming very soon. That's not just abundance in, in, your, in love and romance, but also financially a lot more because you just don't care because you're directing your energy towards you know what really wants you and what's really for you and before you know it, you're gonna find what's for you just gotta come out of that fear and that's what you're doing you're getting to a place where you're not really bothered by what this person does and that's why this person so attracts you but this person was always attracted to you you just couldn't see it so if you guys if you're already with somebody they were always just attracted to you but now you're just letting it in this person always saw you this way especially if they're an empress they're your empress. They always saw you this way. Ooh. Oof. I'm just getting like yummy, yummy, yummy. Um, it's food delights, you guys. It's food. <laughs> it's food. <laughs> you know what I mean? But this person is super into you. You guys, though, um, you guys are also like possibly wanting to go out on a date with your person. This person wants to take you on a date. They're going to take you to a fly ass, banging ass restaurant. You're going to eat your fucking face off, girl or guy. You're going to fucking love what you're eating. You guys are just really going to enjoy these next three days. It doesn't matter what you're doing. You might not really be doing all that much, but you guys, it doesn't, what is, there's no such thing as doing not much or doing a little. You're just doing things. The things you're doing though, with your person, for your person, because of your person, whatever. They are so, and it's not just whatever, it's all those things. They're so exciting. It's just revving up your passion. And also it's giving you the sense of like security of being like, I, you know, I'm good. I could do that all by myself, but I still want my person. That's what it is, comfortable. So what's coming, right? What can I see in the near future for you guys, Leo? You guys are addressing some deep abandonment wounds around being separated, harsh words, you guys were really put down a lot before. You guys endured a lot of narcissistic abuse. You need to visit the Eden Method link down below and please purchase her course. It's worth the money. You guys could try the free webinar too. The webinar, you see it sometimes. Try that. That'll be better. Maybe it'll be a better option for you. Try that option. If not, go on the site. Go on the site. You guys had a, a narcissistic abuse. That's what you're realizing. All the things that make you feel like you're not good enough. You were with a narcissist that beat you down because they didn't want you to see your words so you wouldn't leave them, okay? It doesn't matter if that was your parent or if that was your, it doesn't matter. They did it so you wouldn't leave them. And congratulations, you never left. Even if they're dead, you're still there. So I'm not trying to be mean though. I know that might've sound harsh, but I'm sorry about that. That was actually kind of mean. But, um, you know, the, you know, you're kind of just sitting in that energy. <laughs> you know, and they put you down. They were mean. They were mean. Okay. You just need healing from not just a sick abuse. That's what you're going to be realizing. You're, you're free to be who you are. It doesn't matter who you are. And to look how you want to look. Or how you do look. You're free to look that way too. You're free to stay the same way. You're free to change. You're free, you know, you're free to do whatever you want. I do hope you go to the extended, you guys. All right. You guys are connecting with a young female. There's a young female here watching this reading. That is coming in for you. That's it, period. Period. So when it comes to this um, hurtful energy, 
this father figure, a lot of you guys, your father was a narcissist. And they were really, they put you down a lot and you need to understand that they were just a narcissist. There's nothing about that stuff that they told you was true. I don't feel like you guys are taking it on, but I feel like you guys are really suffering. It's like phantom pain. Narcissistic abuse is like phantom pain, but that's why they're getting fucked over right now. You could be looking at something in your father. Maybe something happened to your father. They have been to your father right now. They were a narcissist. That's why it's happening. You know? I'm not saying that, you know, they were a narcissist and they're, if they weren't a narcissist and they're suffering is because they're a narcissist. No, that's not what it is. But, you know, there's just a lot of pain that this person went through. That might not be. I don't know. You guys be who you want to be. Some of you guys are like, coming on here and picking fights with me and starting shit. You know what I'm saying? Just to get a fucking reaction. Okay, bitch. So you guys like to do that stuff. And it's annoying. You know your situation. All right? It doesn't matter what I think. I'm not here to narcissistically abuse you. And that's why when I say things, and it might be kind of true, if it triggers you, I say sorry. Most times, if you triggered me and you're not sorry, then I'm not. I'm never sorry about what I say. Okay? But my thing is, like... I don't know. That's from what I'm getting. I'm channeling. I'm not trying to attack you. I'm channeling. But when you pull me out of it, then now I'm attacking you. Now I am. All right. Let me fucking do the reading, you sack of shit. And don't be upset when you're like, oh, the Vimeo. Oh, it's always da, da, da. I can't afford that. Oh, you guys are bums. That's why you can't afford it. That's why you can't fucking afford a $9 reading because you're a fucking bum. And you're a short term connection, anyways. I don't care about you. I'm not sharing my energy with you, anyways. It's magically infused. And I do not have to share it for free. Okay. Asshole. So, you know. <laughs> So you guys, back to the reading, like you guys like to say. <laughs> I got something for all you stupid asses. But anyways, um, <laughs> there's something here around there being like, you know, understanding what happens when you're an asshole. <laughs> and what, they, you know, somebody who's having a hard life, that's why, you know. <laughs> so relax. <laughs> all right, so boom. One more in this connection, right? It's like, don't worry about open relationships. It doesn't matter, okay? Connect to your divinity and take, exactly, take care of yourself. All right, so this person, they look at you as a wallflower and they're seeing you as a wallflower right now. But over these next three days, they're gonna see you come towards them and, and it doesn't matter if you're male or female or whatever, like very, charismatic and confident and beautiful um this person they they want you to come towards them this person looks at you as their soulmate okay you're also if you're connecting with a dark male this dark male especially if they're connecting with a dark male they're your soulmate but it doesn't matter if this person is a dark male or not you're coming out of wallflower energy and stepping embracing embodying the energy of a dark male so tall dark and handsome so if you're a man, maybe you don't feel like you are that way, you're going to start to view yourself in that way and realize that you already are. All right. Okay. So Leo, we're going to go to the extended. I'll see you guys over there.